Hello, I'm Dr. Crystal Richardson from Indoor Biotechnologies. Over the past year, COVID-19 infections have resulted in a global pandemic. Pictured here is SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Because of this pandemic, there is a critical need to develop reliable reagents for COVID-19. We sought out to produce the full-length spike protein because it can be used for COVID-19 vaccine development and diagnostic testing. This is a collaboration project between Indoor Biotechnologies and the lab of Dr. Bill Petrie at the University of Virginia. There are three aims to this project. The first aim is to manufacture high quality recombinant full length spike protein. The second is to use the spike protein in a vaccine for COVID-19. And the third is to develop a COVID-19 ELISA IgG antibody test. The spike protein is a large transmembrane glycoprotein that forms surface projections. During SARS-CoV-2 infection, the spike binds to the human ACE2 receptor. The major challenge we had to overcome was that the spike is difficult to express and it is too large to ex be expressed in E. coli. The spike protein contains multiple subunits, and these subunits come together to form three spike protomers. So the first thing we had to do was come up with a rational design that allowed for the spike protein to be in the correct trimeric conformation. In 2019, the cryo-EM structure of the spike was published in Science by Rat et al. Using this as a template, we designed a construct containing the full-length spike, a trimerization domain, a his tag, and we added some stabilizing mutations to help with expression. We also decided to use a mammalian expression system that I had previously optimized for the expression of recombinant antibodies with the thought that antibodies are about the same size as the full-length spike protein. Expression was validated by Western blot analysis using an anti-his tag the most prominent band was seen at the correct size, but we also noticed some lower molecular weight bands. Because of this, we developed a purification protocol to remove the lower molecular weight proteins. Following purification with affinity chromatography, a single band at the correct size was seen on a silver stain SDS page gel. Furthermore, this purified spike protein was analyzed by mass spec and determined to be greater than 95% pure. The spike protein has been demonstrated to generate neutralizing antibodies against SARS-CoV-2, making it an ideal target for vaccine development. Two recent mRNA vaccines that translate the spike protein have already been authorized for emergency use in the United States. However, RNA is highly unstable and degrades at room temperature. There is a need for a stable and effective vaccine that can be easily delivered without freezers. The spike protein, together with an adjuvant, was used in a preclinical immunization trial in mice. The mice have been genetically modified to be humanized and express human ACE2 receptor in their lung epithelium, making them susceptible to COVID-19. Using a total of 20 mice, 10 mice received the immunization and 10 mice served as controls. The immunization strategy is as follows. 10 mice were primed on day zero and received the intranasal immunization on day 14 and day 28. On day 42, all 20 mice were infected with SARS-CoV-2. The non-vaccinated control mice developed COVID-19 and only survived five to six days. The mice that were immunized using the spike protein and an adjuvant had a 100% survival rate. Additionally, the SARS-CoV-2 infection resulted in a marked decrease in weight that was not seen in the mice that received the nasal immunization. The major advantages to using this vaccine strategy are that it is stable at room temperature and it can be administered as a nasal spray. Using the spike protein, we were able to develop an immunoassay for COVID-19. Upon exposure to SARS-CoV-2, IgG antibodies are produced as part of the normal immune response. The COVID-19 positive human sera had high IgG reactivity to the spike protein, even at titers of 1 to 10,000. But the sera from people who had never been exposed to COVID-19 showed very little reactivity. The major conclusion is that the pure and immunoreactive spike protein has applications in vaccine development and testing for COVID-19. Thank you.